New Geekbench was just released today. Geekbench 6 is out, and I want to check it out. So right now, I'm on the M2 Max. This is now my new daily driver. And when I find this machine on Geekbench results, here we go, right here. Uh, as of today, the score is 2075 for single core and 15324 for multi-core. Now, does it say what version this was run with? Ah, Geekbench 5, okay. So now I'm gonna run the new one, Geekbench 6, and see what the score will be. Remember these right here. All right, so I've downloaded Geekbench 6, and I ran it, and... I got vastly different scores. Check it out. My single core score is ridiculously higher. This is me, by the way, right here. You can go check my result. The single core is way higher and the multi core is lower by a thousand, more than a thousand. So I'm happy with the single core score and I'm sad with the multi core score. But should I be feeling any kind of emotion at all here? <laughs> because again, Geekbench moves this thing around. And this is one of the reasons why I've stopped using Geekbench on this channel. The software gets updated and all the scores change. And everything that we've known and come to love and trust is suddenly shifted under our feet. All right, I'm being way too dramatic about this. <laughs> it's not worth it. Anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up that if you see Geekbench scores now, you need to pay attention to what version it is. It's gonna be written right there, but make sure you pay attention and you're comparing the same versions of Geekbench to the same versions of Geekbench. And just to verify my results, I did find somebody else that just ran this also today. Well, because today, that's when it came out. And this was Geekbench 6, and they ran the same system as I did, Apple M2 Max, they have 32 gigs of RAM minus 64. So this is not my machine. It's a different user, but they also got similar scores to me. Although this multi-core score is higher than mine. <clears throat> anyway, I also ran the compute benchmark, which uses a metal API and wow, <laughs> this one is different. So here is the version five for Mac 14.6, which is my version. It's an Apple M2 Max. And the score is 73,242. I ran mine on version six and got this score, 136,943. I don't know what's changed. You probably have to go and read the documentation, uh, but the scores are vastly different. Heads up folks, new Geekbench scores are coming to the YouTube channel reviewers near you, so beware.